What's good, everybody? Welcome to the show. I appreciate everybody for coming through. Um, uh, we're gonna talk about a little bit about Secession, the uh, show on HBO. Um, it's a very good show. It's more about uh, this family that's in power and the, the things that's going on and the fight for who's going to be in control of the power of the rich billionaire family um, that's a multimedia conglomerate. Um, we're going to talk about episode two for just a few minutes. And then I'm going to go ahead and break down BMF episode five. So, um, and then I got a guest, a couple guests that's going to join me and uh, we're going to make it happen. So um, with that being said, let me first recap a little bit about Secession, um, season three, episode two. Also, I did want to review Insecure, but it seems that they have pushed the time back for Insecure to start. And it doesn't start until 10, as well as Curb Your Enthusiasm. I wanted to talk a little bit about that as well. And that doesn't start till like almost 1030, 1040. So I will be making a video to talk about those two shows separately. I should have it ready by tomorrow. So make sure you check out those videos. And also I got a message from some people and I get these messages all the time and they say, oh, Jay, it's good to see you back. I ain't never went anywhere. They say they don't get notifications from YouTube. I have been making videos every single week, three to five videos minimum every single week for four years straight without a week off. Every week, four years straight, three to five videos or more. So if you're not seeing a notification or anything and you're subscribed and you bang that bell, you got to come and check on your boy because I am not, you know, taking time off and I didn't retire. Um, but some things are going on where they have not promoted my channel almost for two years now for some reason. And my channel has been kind of stuck. So I appreciate all the subscribers, all the new members that have joined the membership and uh, all of the people that are not getting the notifications. Um, keep in mind, I am still making videos. So come and check on uh, what's going on. Uh, please support my podcast that's going. You can find it um, wherever you listen to your favorite podcast. I even got the link in the description box so you can check it out, whether you're listening on Apple Music, Spotify, whatever the case, um, I have it there so you can check it out. I appreciate your support if you go ahead and subscribe to the podcast. It is fewer commercial interruptions on the podcast and you're able to enjoy it whether you're in your car or whatever. So to break down secession right quick. Before I do, let me give a shout out to my girl, Gina. Glad you're feeling better. Good to see you back. Um, you said you had to, that happened to you before. You had to manually go to my channel to see my videos. See what I mean? So that is something that has been happening. A lot of people have told me that. A lot of people message me at least a couple times a week and say, good to see you back. I ain't never went anywhere. Um, I've been making these videos consistently for four years straight. It's a weekly grind. I haven't taken any weeks off or any of that. I may take one day off sometimes, but I always make it up. And so uh, with that being said, just check it out if you're not seeing what's going on with the channel or the videos. All right. So real quick, um, for those who are not familiar with Secession, it's like Rupert Murdoch. For those who don't know who Rupert Murdoch is, he's the older man that owns Fox News. Fox News, fake news, it's, it's fake news. Speaking of that, Donald Trump will be creating his own social media website, which is going to be a trip. But 
Anyway, let me sip a drink a little water right quick. So, with this family, this man's in his 70s easily, maybe older. He has four kids, three boys, one daughter. They are all fighting for control of the company for the most part. The second oldest has drug issues, but he's been working in the company the longest and is probably the most qualified to run the company, Kendall Roy. He's had a lot of ups and downs, got in trouble, had somebody, was in a part of an accidental death. In uh, season one, the father helped him cover it up. So he kind of owed the father for that. And a lot of things happened where the father kind of had him in his pocket. Coming into season three, because this multimedia conglomerate that they run as a family, um, it does have shareholders and it is a public company. So they own cruise lines. They own theme parks like Six Flags or whatever the case. They own all kind of different stuff. And it comes to a point in season three where the, the cruise line division is in trouble for sexual harassment, wrongdoing, all kind of, you know, illegal stuff. It was a part in season one or two where one of the guys had this guy named Greg, who's a pure idiot shred a lot of paperwork and evidence okay now it's coming back that well greg he saved a couple pieces of that evidence um just for a rainy day to save his ass so now he's holding on to that evidence um the dad at the end of season two decided he wanted the son to take the fall for all of this wrongdoing even though it wasn't really his fault. So instead of doing that at the end of season two, he decided that he's going to go ahead and throw his pops under the bus. So with that being said, we see in this season that it kicks off. He has lawyers and all kind of stuff where he's trying to put together, um, you know, a way so that he doesn't go to jail and that he could possibly take over the company. So what happens in this second episode, because in the first episode was the immediate fallout of how season two ended. So in this episode, it shows Kendall Roy, the son that's trying to take over from the pops. He ends up having a secret meeting and inviting his sister and his brothers over to his place so that he could try to convince them to join his side and help overthrow dad so that they could run the company and take it in a new direction. Now, the oldest son wants to run for president. The second oldest son, he wants to run the company. And the daughter also wants to run the company, but she don't have experience. And then the youngest son, he just, you know, is lost. He doesn't care. He just wants uh, this older woman that works for the company to be in charge because he got a crush on her. He's scared to have sex. So all he do is beat his meat. <laughs> he real strange. So anyway, we see that the pops is trying to figure out what's going on. Who can he trust? And he's trying to figure out all of these different angles that a lot of people are scared of him because he got a lot of powerful friends in high places, he even know the president. So what they end up doing is he they didn't tell him that they were going to meet up at, at Kendall Roy's spot. And so while he was there meeting up, we see people started getting shook. Um, Greg, this is the dude sitting down on the right that shredded the papers. He's an idiot. Um, he's getting cold feet. He's scared. He's nervous. He don't even understand about a lawyer and who should hire a lawyer and who would, you know, take care of a lawyer 
And so he's worried. He ends up leaving. Um, and Kendall on the left, he's sitting here realizing this dude got cold feet. He ain't really trustworthy at the moment. Um, we see that the sister come through. Um, once the sister come through, um, it seems that right before she came, somebody had a Trojan horse delivered to his house. I mean, some of the stuff that they be doing and going through is really tripped out. Um, so she comes through and he's happy to see her. He's trying to convince her to join the team um, as well as the brother, the youngest brother, who is actually Macaulay Culkin's brother in real life, Kieran Culkin. And so uh, he's the one that wants the older lady to be in charge because he got a crush on her. He like for her to talk down to him, call him trash, and that turns him on. I mean, he got some real issues. Um, so anyway, he probably like to get a whooping with the belt or something. He, he probably would have got happy if he got choked out like Lamar did. Oh, boy, that probably would have made his day. Um, but anyway, <laughs> um, so he's scared of that. He doesn't know um, if he should join his brother. And uh, then we see the older brother comes through. And at the same time, he's a little scared, uh, Pops as well. And we see that none of these people got what it takes to go against the, the old man. And so uh, we see that even though it seems that the son, Kendall Roy, may have what it takes to get it done. He got the good lawyers. He got Sanaya Lathan on his side as a lawyer. Um, it seems that none of the, the siblings trust that he's going to be able to get it done. And they end up all walking away from what he got going on. So um, there's Sanaya Lathan. She don't even look the same, um, even though all she got on is a pants, suit, and glasses. Um, she almost wasn't recognizable at first. Um, anyway, she do a good job as a lawyer, pretty convincing, sound good. Um, and this is a very detailed show as far as the dialogue. It's not a lot of people getting shot or robbed or beat up and stuff like that. It's a very cerebral show. So um, it's very interesting, the the mental jousting in the, in the mind playing that they use. And uh, it turns out, that he wasn't able to convince any of his siblings to join him. And in the end, he got upset. He got pissed. And he cussed them out, Kendall, and basically told them, you know, they made a mistake. And they probably may have, but at the same time, Pops got the money. He got the connections. And he's in control. And they just ain't ready to go up against him yet because they still feel they could get something out of it. And I mean, I get it. Um, it's a very good episode. It's something I think everybody should check out. It's a different change of pace than uh, watching the same old, same old um, with, you know, power, BMF, ghost, all that stuff, people getting shot, selling drugs, all of that gang stuff. And that's fine. It's cool. But I like to watch a lot of different things. And um, I think it's good for you as a, uh, you know, be more well-rounded. And so uh, I definitely enjoy the show. It's on HBO, Secession. Um, it's another show similar to it called Billions on Showtime. That's also pretty good and worth watching. Um, but I wanted to talk about this show because I wanted to give, uh, you know, people a chance to take a look at something different. Um, I know a lot of people may not watch as many shows and, you know, they they may not get exposed to a lot of different things. But I definitely think that uh, this is worth checking out and we'll see how many people get on board. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, be a little more diverse than talking about the same shows all the time. So with that being said, um, I hope a few more people check it out. Um, I definitely think by the time you get past the three or four episodes in the first season, um, you probably will be hooked. 
um, if you like cerebral stuff. If all you, you know, prefer is a little eye candy and action, well, nobody's getting shot, beat up, any of that. They do have a couple things that was crazy, though. Like in season one, they went on a corporate retreat, and he was so powerful, he was making grown men get on the floor. Talking about bore on the floor, making them oink and, and fight for food and all kind of stuff. I mean, it was kind of tripped out. I don't know, man. If I was my job, um, damn, I don't think I would have did that. But then again, you know, if you're making millions, it may be hard to get another job like that. But at the same time, damn, it's very degrading. So I don't know. It's a lot of things that make you think in this show. And uh, I think it's worth a try, worth a look. And, uh, you know, I hope a couple more of you guys give it a shot. And uh, it is visually uh, entertaining in some of the locations they go um, and some of the things they have where they go in London and they were in a castle for a wedding or traveling in jets and, you know, different corporate locations or million dollar yachts but at the same time uh it's not something the average person can relate to but that's kind of the appeal to me is seeing something different um something that you know i haven't actually taken part in you know i've been in the hood before um <laughs> you walk down the street the neighborhoods all over the damn place i ain't see it inside of no multi-million dollar yachts so I mean, hey, that was something interesting. I ain't been in no castle. So, you know, that was interesting to me. See some of this stuff. Check it out. So, you know, and they got just as many problems as everybody else, if not more. Um, just because you got money, like Big say, more money, more problems. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit that like, subscribe, bang that bell, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.